We have just entered the Jewish ghetto through the only preserved gateway. When the Jews were evicted from the Holy Land since the early Middle Ages, they began to settle in important trading centers. From the very beginning, though, they were chased by the Christian majority driven by fears of competition that wanted to restrict their rights. After they were expelled from the Moravian royal towns, they began to settle in smaller towns and hamlets that belonged to lower aristocracy. Here, they were restricted to areas that were later called ghettos. The same thing happened in Boskovice in the second half of the 15th century. In the southwest part of the town, almost out of the town then, a Jewish neighborhood got its irregular shape. You can still find late Gothic and early Renaissance parts of the buildings in their cellars and interiors of the ground floors, most often stone portals, vaults and stone floors. In the Jewish town here in Boskovice, there are some interesting architectural details. This is one of them, a circle stone staircase in house number 7 in Bielkova street. This building used to be a municipal house and also a school later on. You can notice the empire style decorations on the house next door. It was probably reconstructed after the devastating fire of the Jewish town. The gallery in the yard is carried by four simple Tuscany columns with a low head and ornaments. Every Jewish family in ghetto is characteristic for a so-called mezuzah, that is a small box, usually placed on the right-hand side of the entrance door. Every Jew entering touched the mezuzah with two fingers, kissed them and only then could enter the house. It's a kind of symbol that a Jewish family lives in this house. The limited area of ghetto together with its growing population caused dividing the land and houses as well. As a result of that, the estate became urbanically denser and smaller with the maximum use of the space possibilities. Thanks to the broken terrain, the character of the whole estate as if shrank into narrow streets and varied houses. In the 18th and 19th centuries, before the Jews acquired their citizen rights in Bohemia and Moravia, their houses were numbered with Roman figures, as opposed to Christian houses numbered with Arabic figures. A proof of importance of the Jewish community here in Boskovice are the three synagogues, out of which only one got preserved until present days. The sign in Hebrew over the entrance memorates the reconstruction of the synagogue between 1836 and 1837. That is, when the staircase to the women's gallery was built and the portal and windows of the main hall reformed in neo-Gothic style. The original core of the synagogue comes from 1638. It was built for the Jewish community by Italian architect Silvestre Fiotta. The first reconstruction and expansion of the synagogue was done already in 1698. The Baroque Women's Gallery was added on the first floor and the main hall was vaulted. The inner frescoes come from the following period. During the German occupation, the building was used as a store of furniture, clothing and books of the Jewish families that were deported from the whole Boskovice region. Until 1980s then, various owners used it as their storage. The complete reconstruction then began in 1989 and was finished in 2003. 
A very important institution in Jewish life was a ritual immersed bath. One of the original baths was in the house by the bath. It was incorporated into an interesting disposition, followed by a gallery with ten arcs behind which there was cleaning spa. This fountain here was a part of both a water supply of the town and a system of bringing water to the spa. The Jewish cemetery is situated on a steep hillside just under the game park of the chateau, hidden from the eyes of citizens of the town. There are almost 2,500 gravestones here. They are a unique commemoration of generations of Jews from Boskovice and at the same time an exhibition of the handicraft of local stonemasons. Its antiquity and daira rank the cemetery to the unique sites of its kind in the country. In the beginning of the 18th century, all the Jewish towns in the country had to be separated from the rest of the towns. This separating pole that is preserved in Boskovice held a chain that was used for separating the street. The act of separating was called Elf in Hebrew and was always performed on Saturdays, Sundays and holidays of both the religions to prevent disturbing. The separating was either done with gateways, there were five of those here in Boskovice, or with individual walls. One of those is beautifully preserved in Kromnerish. But a pole like this is the only single copy throughout the whole Europe. In March 1942, the Nazis deported the Jewish community from Boskovice region. Out of 500 deported, only 14 returned.